Hello everybody and welcome to another Unico video with me Bev, the owner and designer of all things Unico. Now I've had an idea in my head for a while for a video um, using um, some of our background blocks. Now if you're a seasoned Unico lover, product lover, um, you'll know that background blocks are one of my favourites and I'm always releasing um, new patterns and new designs in this block format. Now each block, uh, if I remember rightly, I will just measure, they're about 6.8 by 9.5-ish centimetres and they're all roughly the same size. So I've had this idea to do three um, three ways with background blocks. Now here I've chosen um, background block splatter, uh, background blocks layered stripes and background blocks scattered polka dots. Um, so I'm going to feature each of the backgrounds uh, on a card um, with a slightly different look to each card. Um, Obviously, I've chosen these backgrounds, but all the cards that I'm making, you could use any of the background blocks from the series that you might have in your stash. Or you might even have um, something from another brand that is similar and will work just as well. So for my first card, I am going to use a background block splatter and I'm going to use it how I normally do as an instant focal point so i'm going to use my mini misty here and i'm going to place my cardstock which measures 10 and a half by 14 centimeters and i'm just put, putting a little bit of temporary adhesive just to keep it in place um just in case i need to repeat stamp it is a fairly solid stamp um so sometimes I do have to repeat stamp this one. So I'm just peeling it off here and I'm going to place it. Sometimes I place it up here as an instant focal point, but I'm going to go off centre and towards the lower right of my card today. Hopefully I am in good view. And... I'm going to use uh, Oceanside, a turquoise. It's one of my favourite colours. And I've gone ahead um, and I've pre-stamped what I'm going to embellish it with, apart from my sentiment. So, along with this video showing you three ways with Unico background blocks, I've also um, just now um added a discount code for a weekend special um where you can get three background blocks for 15 pounds so that's going to save you four pound fifty um it, it'll only work on background blocks and it'll only work on ones that are in stock but if you add three to your cart uh, the discount will be automatically applied um, and it's an awesome discount, I, I think. Um, so that is valid from now until midnight, Sunday, the 18th of August, 2024. So if you watch this video after the 18th, I'm afraid that the special is no longer um, valid. So there's no code necessary. Um, as I say, all you need to do is add three of our background blocks to your cart and the discount will be automatically applied. As you can see, I've had to restamp. Um, one, my ink pad isn't super juicy and two, I just wanted a darker shade. And here is Callie. She has probably just walked across my desk. Um, she's probably heard my voice and just woken up from a nap now that the boys have gone out to grandma and granddad's on a Friday. They go swimming um, 
which I we normally go and watch them go swimming and then they stay at grandma and granddad's on a Friday night and here is Callie gonna make another appearance in the video um, she had her little operation <laughs> yesterday and she's feeling very uh, sociable right now come on up there she'd only scratch at the door if I shut the door so I've left it open so apologies there um, so I finished stamping the background and I went ahead and um, stamped flower power six and I am just going to simply embellish with flower power six form adhesive and I'm going to add a little sentiment strip as well now I haven't cut my sentiment or stamped my sentiment but what I am going to do is use this and as you can see I thought I was being really prepared but as normal um, I'm not as prepared as I would like to be <laughs> and I wasn't planning on Callie jumping past the video either so I must have put there it is over there so I was just looking for the floral vines um, stamp set and I'm going to use the happy birthday from this stamp set for my sentiment normally I would trim my card um, but this is just an off cut and I'm just going to um, stamp the sentiment let's measure up a little bit I want it to overhang slightly so I'm just going to put a little mark there as I'll trim that off and I'm just going to use a stamp block but I will just secure this to my work surface just so it doesn't slip now for all my sentiments and outlines in black, I use Versifying Claire Nocturne ink. Um, I just think it gives a lovely crisp impression. And hopefully I won't mess this up. There we go. Now I'm going to grab some foam adhesive. I love foam adhesive, uh, as you know. I'm just going to turn that over and just add a few squares. Just seeing there through the card where the sentiment ends roughly, just so I'm not overhanging the foam as it's a bit tricky then to cut. So I've had this idea for a while um, to show you some of the background blocks and I've just randomly picked a few. Um, it was quite hard actually choosing which ones to use because there's so many and um, so many patterns and designs and here comes Callie again she's really interested today normally she just sits on the windowsill and she's quite happy but not just now come on sit up there please she was in a mood with me last night so I should be quite honoured that she's actually forgiven me um, for taking her to the vets yesterday um, for her spay spade spay um she's got a little shaved area which ben um who is her other court owner isn't 100 percent happy on so i'm gonna just tuck i'm actually gonna stamp uh adhere the, the leaves with double-sided tape 
um, and then add just the flour with uh, form adhesive so it tucks under um, my sentiment strip. She's been napping downstairs in the conservatory for ages um, and I thought she was quite settled for the afternoon. Well, until at least I'd done this video, but hey-ho, she's coming back. She's super interested, but she's off. She was just using me as a um, jumping board. So apologies if you don't like cats. <laughs> Um, I'm just putting a little tape on part of the stem and then I'm just going to tuck the flower in just here and then we're going to use foam adhesive for the flower. So the idea around these background blocks is that you get an instant focal point or an instant um, pattern to your card and there's so many different ways you can use them and then the idea is that you wouldn't necessarily have to add a lot of embellishment if you didn't want to because um, you have got the pattern um, there's just so many fun ways and the majority of them are on Pinterest um, and they are categorized under the name um, some have more samples than other I am slowly working through pinning more things on Pinterest because I do enjoy Pinterest as much as I love um, Instagram I do love Pinterest as well and then to finish off I'm just going to add uh, I'm not sure if I got Poppy I know I've got cranberry. Oh, I did get poppy. So I'm going to add some poppy enamel dots. So the colours I am using are Concord and Ninth inks. And Concord and Ninth have uh, cardstock and enamel dots to match their ink colours. Um, I find it super useful when um, just having everything nicely coordinated um it takes a lot of the thinking out and i just like to tuck a couple here and it's nice that they come in like a trio of sizes as well and i'm just gonna tuck one there so that is card one so i've used the background block as an instant focal point. Next, I am going to use um, scattered polka dots. And again, I am going to use the same colours um, because my embellishment again is going to be um, Flower Power 6, which I used on that card. And this time, I'm just going to take this out. This time we're going to do like a little strip. I'm just finding, I did prepare my card. That was one thing I did do. So again, I've got this little strip here and I'm going to place it in, in my misty here and I'm going to hope that it doesn't move too much because what I want to do is use the block straight across this is just another sort of idea I had using these it's not going to stick completely Put a little bit more tape on and just hope so this is just another little idea I had um, what I do often before I sit down and make cards is I might sketch um, out a layout um, 
I often do it for releases. I'll sketch a few layouts out that I like. Some might be inspired by other people's cards that I've come across on Instagram or Pinterest. Um, and I think, oh, that looks good. Um, that would work with such and such. Or So I'll often sketch the layout. I don't always think, right, these are the colours. But I went ahead and I stamped some of the embellishments before I came live, well, not live, on, started recording the video. Um, so there's the scattered polka dots. I'm just going to move that and I'm going to take that out because I will use that for the next card. So... I've got a little bit of a strip there that's overhanging, um, which I didn't want, and I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna trim it just a little bit shorter. So, and then I had an idea that I would die cut a little sentiment window. So I have a little circle die here. And I'm just going to bring in my big shot and just die cut this little window. So now she's decided it's playtime. So I have constant distractions. <laughs> so if you're wondering what the noise is, she's got like this figure eight track where a ball goes round and she loves it. It used to be one of Jelly's toys that we got him as a kitten and I, I nearly got rid of it a few months ago but I didn't. I decided to keep it because occasionally he would play with it. Um, so it was under one of the sofas, um, the one in the conservatory um, and she loves it just as much as he did when he was a kitten. So here I've die cut the, a little window and what I'm going to do is this is going to be adhered using foam tape so I've got my background card here um, and then I'm going to stamp um, a sentiment in here so I'm just getting it lined up how I would like it. I'm just going to put a bit of tape on so this doesn't keep moving. And then I'm just going to line this up where I roughly want it. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lightly trace the circle. So I know exactly where my sentiment is going to go. And I'm going to use hello so I'm going to partial stamp now what I tend to do is I use a bit of scotch tape and I just mask off the part of the sentiment that I don't want to be ink inked and then I use my ink pad I try not to go too much over on the tape because then I tend to get it on me and then you can just go ahead and stamp your sentiment and then you won't have any other ink. That's fairly central. <laughs> I'm quite happy with that. I usually have things right under my vision where um, my desk has like another sort of 10 centimetres below. So you can't sort of see that in the video. Um, but never mind. So I'm just adding the foam adhesive. And then I never want to get my head in the video. So, <laughs> oh, Callie. It's definitely, she's definitely woken up for playtime. So...
This one was quite a simple card. Now, I thought about not embellishing this, so I'm, I'll see how this goes. I did stamp off and cut some Flower Power 6 embellishments to go with this. Um, she's coming for a good nosy because Mummy is just not playing with me right now. So she's been trouble. So there, I've put um, form adhesive on. And before I stick it in place, actually, I am going to rub this circle out as it'll be difficult otherwise. And I use. If I don't use a brush and I use my hand, I will smudge my sentiment. You can guarantee that's what will happen. And I'm just lining that up. And you could leave it like that and just add um, a few enamel dots or whatever. I should have printed off another one, but I think I'll just leave it as with one just deciding where to put I think I might put it here I should have stamped another rose um because I was gonna offset them but I'll just stick to one I don't want to keep you too long I don't like making videos too long but then I want to show you sort of like my thinking when I'm making my cards or like as here i pre thought what i was going to make and how i was going to embellish it so i'm putting form adhesive again on the rows and then i am going to tuck the leaves and adhere them using double-sided tape so these are all fairly quick and clean and simple cards so even though they are clean and simple sometimes they can take a while it doesn't mean that they are always quick but there um, and I think I'll just leave it as that without adding any further embellishment so that is card number two. And then for card number three, um, I'm going to use the layered stripes. So I've pre-cut my card. Um, the base is 10 and a half by 14. And then I've got another layer, which is nine and a half by 13. So I'm going to be stamping on this part of the layer. Now I will be moving this into my misty but what i'm going to do first is i want to create a mask because i want to reduce the size of my um block so this is my block um, and i want to make it more of a square so i am going to mask off one and a half no one centimeter here as you can see um I didn't pre-measure um, measurement <laughs> of how much. I just knew that I wanted a mask off a section. Now there's a reason why I chose this one. And that is because when you stamp it and you reduce the size, it has a bit of a sort of gifty ribbony type wrapping paper look to it so this is just um printer paper well thin it's probably about um, it's probably um about 160 gsm so it's quite 
thin paper um, it's not quite printer paper as such the thinness of printer paper um, but it should be thin enough when it comes to stamping in my misty and i'll be using my slightly larger misty for this one so i just trimmed a couple so i could create this sort of not a complete Sorry about that. Someone's trying to FaceTime me. My son. <laughs> oh, I'm getting all the distractions today. Um, so I'm just going to lift this up now. And then I'm going to add it to my Misty. Hopefully it won't all come apart. Apologies. Sometimes my children don't take no for an answer. <laughs> and I've just got these magnets and I'm just going to secure this into my Misty. And then we're going to place the block. So it goes over. And with them being uh, clear stamps, you can see where it's going to stamp and how it's going to stamp for the, where the pattern's going to be and again i'm going to use uh i'm just going to trim just fold this across a little bit so it doesn't move it too much i'm going to use oceanside again so i've got a bit of a color theme going on here and Again, because I have got a masked off section, I'm putting it in my Misty so I can repeat stamp and make sure I get a lovely solid image. So here, oh, my stamp wasn't clean. That's not like me. So it's gone a bit sort of purpley. With looks like I've used red. So sometimes you need to stand up if just to get the edges where you've masked it off and again i'm just gonna do this a few times just till i'm happy with the impression and almost happy so it's got a bit of a red tinge to this because it looks like it was stamped in red and then the stamp hasn't been cleaned it could have been after a class or it could have been me at a show uh, probably the latter and i've just put it away and i haven't cleaned it naughty me so there I'm going to just remove the magnets. It's not as crisp as I would have liked it, but um, I'm happy all the same because I just wanted to show you how um, you can use these blocks by masking them off. Now, before I would have probably used scotch tape, this scotch tape to mask. Um, this one... I got off Amazon and it's super sticky. Um, it's supposed to be low tack like all the other scotch tapes, but this one just seems even more stickier than normal, um, which is a little bit frustrating. But um, so I have to be careful when I'm sticking, using it to hold things down when crafting. So what I did was I used, uh, I went ahead and stamped the solid bore from mid-century modern wreath builder so i've used the solid bore there and i'm just going to secure it 
um, with some fawn tape over the top and then we're going to add a simple Christmas sentiment. I don't know where I've put my fawn tape now. Oh, it's hiding over there. Right. I always have some to reach in my drawer next to me as well when my desk gets a little bit chaotic. But never mind. And I'm just sticking a few bits on here. Oh, everyone wants me. It's typical, isn't it? You're halfway through doing something, or more than halfway doing something. You think, oh, I've got a bit of time, I'll do this. And then everybody wants you. In demand today. And then I'm going to add that. And I've no idea where I've put my Christmas sentiments now. Here they are. I'm going to use, um, so these are Christmas sentiments. And are they not the ones that I wanted? <laughs> Uh, I know what we'll use these ones and we'll stamp them with so we'll do Merry Christmas and we'll stamp them in the misty as these are quite solid I was looking for um, the simply said blocks Christmas I thought they were next to me, but they aren't. So we will do these ones instead. So I'm just adding my magnets here. And then I'm going to place my sentiment. I want it so it sort of half hangs over. And then I'm just going to stamp it in black. And then when I finish that, we're going to adhere this panel to the card panel with form adhesive just to offset it. And then there, first time. Doesn't normally happen like that. Um, I've got some ocean side enamel dots I'm going to put one just in the center of the bore just for a little bit of contrast and then we'll stick it to I'm not going to use form adhesive actually I'm going to use a uh, double-sided tape because I don't want too much bulk um, with it being a Christmas card I probably will send it at Christmas um, and I don't want to risk it being too bulky not to go through on a normal postage stamp. So we'll use double sided tape and you still get that sort of definition um, adhering it to a white card base. So I tidied up my desk yesterday and it, it's true just one car you know just one crafty session and then it's chaos again but never mind I can have another tidy up later um, normally I get lazy and then I don't tidy it and then I go to the next project and then it it gets chaotic and more chaotic and my space for crafting gets smaller and smaller are you a tidy crafter or are you a messy crafter? Do you tidy up after every project or do you wait till there's no space left <laughs> like me? So there, that's another way just masking off um, a section and using a section of the background block. So here, as you can see, I decided to change up from floral to Christmas. Um, just three different ways um using background blocks i hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget if you are watching it 
um, between today and the 18th of August 2024 we have a um, three for 15 pounds offer um, weekend special on the background blocks uh, it's automatically applied if you add three background blocks to your um, cart um, I hope you've enjoyed it I hope this has given you a few ideas of how to use the background blocks and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.